At the beginning of 2022, there are 513 unique games included in Game Pass, so the choice of what to play in Game Pass can be kind of overwhelming and that's why this video is going to help you to choose the best blockbuster games available in Game Pass. It doesn't matter whether you are new to Xbox or Game Pass or if you are a long term customer. I hope this video will provide you with some recommendations on what to play in the Xbox ecosystem. Hello gamers from around the world, this is Boxenberger, the video game enthusiast from Germany with a video on the best games available in Game Pass at the beginning of 2022. This video will focus on the big AAA blockbusters that are included in Game Pass and in case you are looking for that secret recommendation, those little hidden gems in Game Pass, I have a dedicated video for that and I'll link it in the description and at the end of this video. And should you end up enjoying yourself while watching this, it would be awesome of you to consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. Thank you guys, you are awesome, now let's talk about the best games and make sure to let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite games in Game Pass. By the way, I'm not listing the games in this video in a particular order. So the first I want to recommend is of course Forza Horizon 5. This game is so much more than just a racing game, it's a car PG. This is an open world racer set in Mexico and the reason why this game is often called a car PG is not just that it allows you to customize all your vehicles in many many different ways, it's because the game lets you play it as you wish. You want to have some awesome races? You can do that. Do you want to do the craziest stunts and tricks? You can do that. Do you want to just explore a super well crafted open world? You can do that. You are a fan of collectibles? Guess what? You can do that too. And the awesome thing is that the game doesn't force anything upon you. You can really play the game just as you like and it's all wrapped in some of the best technical presentations you can imagine. The game is not just absolutely beautiful and very rich in its details, it runs butter smooth at 60 fps and the audio design is outstandingly good. You can hear for instance the engine bouncing off of the cliffs you drive by or the houses and whatnot. The detail that Playground Games put into that game is just outstanding and I couldn't recommend this game more. The next one that I want to talk about is Psychonauts 2. This game really took me by surprise by how well crafted it is. Don't worry if you haven't played the first one, there's a short video at the beginning of the campaign explaining everything you need to know. This is a platformer that is also an action adventure that is also a puzzle game and many many other things and that's what is so amazing about Psychonauts 2. The developer Double Fine has outdone themselves when it comes to creativity. No level is the same, there's always something unique about the gameplay mechanics, the level design, the story or whatnot. And I have not heard anyone who did not enjoy this game and that is something that is really unique because usually you always have someone talking bad about whatever game. So I had to include it in this list. And since we are talking about games that were added at the end of 2021, I have to mention Halo Infinite. Undoubtedly this is one of the best games available in Game Pass. Halo Infinite delivers truly the full package. It has an incredibly well realized multiplayer mode with different game modes and maps and an incredibly satisfying gameplay mechanic. It also has a very very well realized single player campaign and for the first time Halo goes open world. You can explore the open world Halo ring, do a lot of side stuff or just follow the more linear main storyline. All that is packed into a beautiful presentation with an incredible audio design and some of the best shooter mechanics out there. The sandbox in this world lets you do basically everything you can imagine. You can approach every fight in tons of different ways and the grappling hook that has been added to the movement of the Master Chief is just pure fun. And don't worry, if Halo Infinite is your first Halo game that is totally fine. You can absolutely follow the story, but of course there are some sweet twists for fans of the franchise. And by the way, if you want to go back and experience where the story all began, all Halo games are included in the Master Chief collection, which is also available in Game Pass. The next Next game I want to recommend is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This is one of the best Metroidvania games ever made. Not just is the game outstandingly beautiful with some of the best color palettes in a game ever, the music is goosebump inducing and the core gameplay mechanics are just on point. It can be a difficult game at times but it is absolutely rewarding because the game is never unfair. Not once did I die in that game and was thinking it wasn't my fault. The level design is superb with some great platforming challenges, some cool combats, a rewarding upgrade system and you see where this is going. It's a 100% recommendation. For owners of the Xbox Series X and S there are two options by the way. You can play the game at 120 frames per second or alternatively at 60 frames per second and the game is then rendered at 6K yes 6k and then downsampled to 4k output giving you a super crisp image. And by the way the first Ori game is also included in Game Pass and it is a fantastic game. Next I want to definitely mention Doom Eternal. With the acquisition of Bethesda Doom belongs now to Xbox. A 
and Doom Eternal is the best in the series yet. The game is super fast paced with amazing shooting mechanics and it is just pure fun to rip and tear the demons apart, to fight your way through hell, Mars, Earth and back. It has actually a story which, yeah, it might not be the deepest but it fits the super brutal gameplay perfectly. Be warned though, the game can be difficult at times but it is just so incredibly satisfying to shoot or rip the demons apart. The gunplay feels like bench on the market and all that is wrapped in a beautiful presentation and owners of the current gen consoles have multiple graphic options. There is of course the 120 frames mode, there is a 4K 60fps mode with all the details and there is a ray tracing mode at 60fps. But the game is also very playable on last gen consoles. Next up I have to recommend Outer Worlds. This RPG from Obsidian Entertainment is one of the best RPGs from the last generation. Obsidian has really outdone themselves in this game. The story is really really good. It has a certain type of humor to it that is just unique on the market. The RPG mechanics, the way how you progress your character and level up your skills and the way how the game handles loot is absolutely satisfying and rewarding. This is not a classic open world RPG. It has different planets with vast open areas that can be explored freely and on every world you find a lot of different side quests but the open world is broken down into multiple areas and I really appreciate that because it streamlines your gaming experience a little bit more than just to have a vast open world. The game has received a Series X and S upgrade and can now be played at dynamic 4K and 60 FPS and it plays just buttery smooth. The combat mechanics are also a lot of fun and remind a little bit of Fallout 4 but with a unique obsidian entertainment touch and while I say it out loud I kinda have to re-download the game and I do hope you will too. The next game I want to recommend is the only game in this video that can only be played on PC and that is Age of Empires 4. We have heard a lot of insiders talking about them working on a console port for 2022 and I truly hope that this is the case because everyone should experience this real time strategy game. This game is one of the most addictive games I've ever played. They have somehow modernized the formula that made Age of Empires 2 back in the day such a special game while keeping the core gameplay mechanics so addictive. They also added a great campaign which tells the history of four different countries and the individual missions are linked with some incredibly high quality short documentaries. And if you are afraid that your PC might not be able to handle that game, the minimum specs for H4 are really really low so I would definitely have a look if you really cannot play it and again a console port is apparently in the works. But let's go back to console games and I definitely want to recommend here Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. In Game Pass all EA Access games are also included. That of course means that a lot of Battlefield games, FIFA and Madden games are included. But the one that really stands out here is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This is a single player action adventure game, an experience that tells a linear story which is really well written. The lightsaber fights are incredibly well realized and overall the Star Wars feeling comes across really well. This game also has received an upgrade for the Xbox Series X and S and runs now at 60 FPS and plays and looks just beautiful. There are also a couple of smaller riddles to be solved in the game and overall this is just an amazing experience to play through. And speaking of amazing experiences, Hellblade from Ninja Theory is also included in Game Pass. What can I tell you, this game is just brilliant. It was developed by only 20 people and they have outdone themselves. The game is a third person action adventure slash psychological horror thriller with a very well told story about mental health issues set in the northern mythology. There's also a lot of action packed fights there and a couple of creatively realized riddles. Everyone who has played it can confirm that the audio design is probably the best he or she has ever heard in a game. Make sure to play this game with your headphones on because Ninja Theory is using an audio technology called binaural audio and it will immerse you in a way you have never experienced in any other game and with the second one coming soon exclusively through the Xbox ecosystem I highly recommend to play this one to prepare yourself for one of the most anticipated upcoming Xbox games. And last but in no way least I want to mention in this video Gears 5. The fifth game in the Gears of War series has done a couple of new things. With this Gears game open areas have been introduced with side quests and stuff to discover. The game is still a linear game but in every main act of the game there is an open area that invites you to explore it. Other than that they have refined the core mechanics. The gameplay feels as good as it has ever done. It looks absolutely gorgeous and is a true graphics showcase. The Dolby Atmos audio is really well done. The story is really good in my opinion and provides you with a very tough choice to make at the end of the game and I could not recommend it more. But with that I want to bring this 
video to an end. Obviously, I had to leave out a ton of fantastic games. With 513 unique games in Game Pass, there are just too many awesome games for one video. And that's why I didn't mention games like Sea of Thieves, Wolfenstein, Flight Sim, Control, Minecraft Dungeons, Nier Automata, Back 4 Blood, all the Battlefield games, the Crisis Trilogy, Dishonored 1 and 2, all the Dragon Age games, the Fallout games, etc, etc. And since Game Pass is the gift that keeps on giving by adding every month new games, you can already tell. That means that I have to do another video with even more recommendations for Game Pass. So if you enjoyed this one, definitely make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the little notification bell, so you won't miss out on future videos. And if you are interested in smaller titles that are hidden gems in Game Pass, I highly recommend my video on those. Also, please make sure to let me know your favorite games in Game Pass in the comments down below. And if you want to help me to take this channel to the next level, it would be awesome of you to consider to become a channel member to get early access to all my videos and get access to custom made badges and emojis. I have a bunch of very cool stuff planned out for 2022, so definitely stay tuned. Besides here on YouTube, you can also hit me up on Twitter, where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now, thank you very much for watching, I see you the next time and game on! <laughs>